Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about shopping, basically. But specifically shopping for holiday gifts. Because it's already December and I'm sure many of you are starting to shop for your loved ones for the holidays. And I thought it'd be helpful to have a little gift guide for different aesthetics. There's no way I'm going to cover like every aesthetic. But I have a few really popular aesthetics that you guys really seem to like that I talk about on my channel. And I'm kind of grouping some together as well because I think a lot of these gift ideas can work for multiple aesthetics. So if you like these ideas, I'm also going to try to make a blog post for all of these different aesthetics with some specific links to different gift ideas so if that will help you out then it'll be linked down in the description box below hopefully I have it up by the time I post this video if not then I'll definitely have it up soon you can keep updated by following me on Instagram at the dress relief or you can join my discord server um, it'll be linked in the description box down below as well and I recommend joining my discord server anyways because it's a really fun community where you can talk about anything and everything fashion and aesthetics so again that'll be linked down below but I'm going to be covering five different aesthetic categories which will be ballet core, coquette, hyper feminine, fairy core, and mermaid core, whimsy goth, acubi slash downtown girl, and vintage slash dark and light academia. So if you're interested in gift ideas for any of these aesthetics, stay tuned. First of all, we have ballet core, coquette, and hyper feminine aesthetic, which, like the name suggests, it's a very feminine aesthetic. So you want things that are very feminine and girly and frilly and cute. So first of all, bows, 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 literally anything with bows or bows themselves, bows for your hair, bow accessories, bows on sweaters, bows on pretty much anything would be perfect for this aesthetic. You can also go for ballet flats, which are definitely ballet core, but also fit coquette and hyper feminine. Pearl jewelry can definitely be seen in these aesthetics as well. Charm bracelets and necklaces. I think those chunky charm necklaces are super trendy right now and can also fit in this aesthetic. And of course you can pick like little bow charms and feminine charms that will also fit these aesthetics. Shrugs for that ballet core vibe. Leg warmers especially in white or baby pink. Cute tights or stockings or frilly socks. Corset and bustier type of tops which are especially good for the coquette and hyper feminine aesthetics. You can go for some cute press on nails or mini Uggs which are also very trendy this fall and I think those are really good for that kind of practice warm up kind of ballet core look. I also have some DIY gift ideas for example accessories that use ribbons like the little rose ribbons you can buy at craft stores or you can make yourself. DIY Simone Rocha inspired accessories. You can embroider something with feminine imagery. You can crochet or knit arm warmers or leg warmers or a cute shrug top or you can DIY some jewelry. Next we have the fairy core and mermaid core aesthetics which I grouped together because they're both like fantasy inspired aesthetics and I think they are very similar in a lot of ways like they're both inspired by nature but mermaid core is just more inspired by the ocean and the beach. So I think a lot of these can overlap in some ways like the style itself is very flowy in both aesthetics. So yeah, I just grouped them together but obviously more ocean inspired stuff will work better for mermaid core and more foresty and fairy inspired stuff will work better for fairy core. So first of all, you can look for nature inspired jewelry or ocean inspired jewelry for mermaid core so things like shells and pearls. And same with like hair accessories and other accessories, you can go for nature and foresty inspired accessories for fairy core and ocean inspired accessories for mermaid core. You can get a shell lip balm or make one yourself. Like you can get these little shell like uh, container things off of Etsy and you can fill it with a DIY lip balm. I'm sure there's recipes for that online. You can also look for clothes with asymmetrical hems like skirts and tops and just kind of flowy silhouettes in general and you definitely want to go for more earthy, green, and brown toned um, clothing items for fairy core and more like blue, purple, seafoam green, and white colors for mermaid core. Flare sleeves is something you see a lot of both aesthetics as well, long flowy skirts. You can also look for art prints for either aesthetic like nature inspired art prints or fairy inspired art prints or like botanical prints or more oceany inspired art prints for mermaid core. A crochet purse can work for both aesthetics. Elf ear type of accessories like I've seen wire elf ears that look really cute or I've also seen like these elf ear earphones which are also really cool and practical because you can listen to music and whatnot on them. And I think those definitely fit fairy core more but I think it could also work for mermaid core. You can get fairy tale books and anything mushroom inspired for fairy core. And for DIY items, you can crochet things like tops, purses, 
arm armors and leg armors and of course you can always DIY jewelry as well. And next I wanted to go over Whimsicott and kind of the witch core aesthetic. This one is also kind of similar, fairy core and mermaid core, kind of fantasy-ish inspired and those flowy silhouettes but I thought it deserved its own category. So you want to look for celestial inspired jewelry and accessories, especially for Whimsicott. You see a lot of those um, kind of sun and moon designs, especially in like those belts or just jewelry in general. For clothing, I would look for a jewel tone color palette and I see a lot of like thrifted clothes. I feel like those look the best in Whimsy Goth. So look for like flare sleeves, flowy dresses and skirts, sheer tops and cardigans. You can also get celestial or witchy art prints. For shoes, I'd get chunky platform shoes like Unif shoes or Demonia shoes. Candles are also a good option. Stained glass decor, maybe crystals if they're into that. And for DIY gifts, you can DIY jewelry and accessories. You can crochet items as well, like a crochet cardigan, a crochet flare sleeve top. And maybe you can even DIY candles yourself. Next, we have the Aquabee aesthetic and the Downtown Girl aesthetic. I think these two aesthetics are pretty similar. Aquabee is just a more minimalistic version of it. So I grouped these two together. And they're kind of like Y2K grungy inspired aesthetics, but a lot more minimal. So first of all, you can look for basic tops, like crop tops, kind of cutout tops, um, those raglan style t-shirts or long sleeve tops, graphic tees. You can get baggy pants for them because baggy pants are definitely found a lot in both aesthetics. Headphones you see a lot in the aesthetic as well, so a nice pair of headphones would work. Headphone accessories too, I see a lot of people put like ribbons and little crochet trinkets like onto their headphones and I think that's really cute and that's also really easy to DIY. Accessories like skinny scarves and arm warmers, a canvas messenger bag or a simple crossbody bag, shrug tops, oversized leather jackets, converse or docks, a tote bag, you can even DIY a little graphic to put on the tote bag or paint it with fabric paint or you can just get a really cool one off of like Etsy or something that matches their personality and their aesthetic. You can get concert tickets or posters or band tees for them. Some cool press-on nails that also match that cool girl city urban vibe. And maybe some Miffy items. I don't know, I just feel like Aquabee girls and Miffy girls tend to overlap. For DIY gift ideas, like I mentioned, you can crochet some headphone accessories like a little leaf on top of their um, headphones or some like little dangly cute little plush things to um, hang off of the sides of their headphones. Or you can crochet some skinny scarves or arm warmers. Um, like I mentioned, you can also paint something cool onto a tote bag. Anything similar to that would be really cool to DIY for the Aqua Beer Downtown Girl aesthetic. And finally, the last category would be a vintage aesthetic or dark and light academia. So first of all, chunky charm necklaces like I mentioned in the ballet core um, category would also work here because those are just really cool and trendy and you can use like vintage inspired charms. I think you could definitely style these into like vintage and dark and light academia outfits. You can get them an old film camera, a vintage style radio bonus if it doubles as a Bluetooth speaker. I have one of these and it's perfect for like driving movies. I love it. Vintage picture frames. Maybe you can even insert a picture of you two together into the vintage frame. Vintage art prints. You can find these on Etsy or you can go to a local antique store and get some authentic ones and those would be really cool. Candles. Or if they're the crafty type that they like to embroider or crochet, you can get those cute little vintage looking stork scissors. I think those are super cute. Vintage anything really because this is like a vintage aesthetic. So like a vintage lamp, a vintage jewelry box, vintage clothes and accessories. A new book on the reading list especially for them dark and like academia folks. You can thrift some cool teacups and vases for them. Or you can get a record player and some records for them. If you want to DIY something for them, like I mentioned in the Whimsicott slash Witchcore category, you can try DIYing candles for them, or you can try DIYing those chunky charm necklaces, you can try thrift lifting some sort of vintage item, or even if you can't DIY the actual item itself, you can get creative with like how you present it to them. For example, if you're getting a cool book from their reading list, you can make it like one of those blind dates with a book and wrap it in like a plain brown paper and then put like some sort of description on it. So it's kind of a surprise when they go to read it. Alright, so those are all the ideas I have for now. Let me know if there's any aesthetics that I missed that you really want me to cover. Maybe I'll do a part two and another aesthetic 
holiday gift guide for you guys. And let me know in the comments what other videos you also want to see in the future. You can also join my Discord server link down below and we can talk more about fashion and aesthetics there. Otherwise, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Follow me on Instagram as well and on TikTok and I will see you guys next time.